I know we are all aware that um, this COVID-19 thing is no joke and the unfortunate thing is we are supposed to be locked down, we are supposed to be in our homes, but I just remember that uh, there are people without homes. I can afford a single bedroom house and stay in, but the youth, the number of people on the streets, I woke up one day and I just realized that uh, people live Accra all the way to Amfuega, Usuta, Vate, all the communities in my district to come and vote for me. And then this moment is a time that they need me most. I know they are not supposed to go out. Most of them don't have any jobs that they were even doing. A lot of them depended on their daily income. So I solicited for some support from uh, some friends and family and some colleagues from parliament and I decided to give them some foodstuffs and sanitizers because they are the things that are very necessary now for every everybody, not just Ghanaians, everybody across the whole wild world. So I think uh, knowing what is happening now, it's important that I come to their aid. Uh, the whole issue about the lockdown, it's important or it's very necessary for us to control what was happening. It's very important for us to minimize movement so they are able to trace those who have the virus or those who don't have the virus. But the only problem with the lockdown is we never thought about the people who are homeless. We never thought about people who, who, who live on hand to mouth. That is the situation at hand now. So even though the president is trying to do something that he we all deem very important, uh, looking Above what he is doing, I feel some of my people will die out of hunger instead of the COVID-19. I, I heard a joke recently when I went to the constituency, it was like, honorable, as for us, it's not a disease that will kill us, so it's hunger that's going to kill us. So apart from the fact that we are trying to uh, control whatever is happening, minimize movement and make people stay in their homes, we have to ask ourselves that, what do they stay on? What do they eat? A lot of them don't even have water to even drink in their homes. So... Um, I think it's very important that we all come out of our houses, those who can afford to support these less privileged ones on the streets.